Hey everyone, are you tired of joystick drift or lack of aim input ruining your gaming sessions? Well, let's talk about why Hall Effect joysticks should be the standard in every handheld and first party controller from PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo going forward. And if they aren't, like from ASUS devices, especially on the RG Ally X, the most premium device, handheld DIY has you covered with an easy mod for you to do on your own. Joysticks have been at the heart of gaming since the arcade days, but not all joysticks are created equal. Most controllers still use potentiometer-based joysticks. It's wild to think that even the priciest PS5 or Xbox Series Elite controllers still use outdated technology. Potentiometer-based joysticks rely on physical contact. Inside, they have wipers that move across resistive tracks as you tilt the stick. This movement changes the electrical resistance, sending signals to your console or PC about the joystick's position. Now, here's the problem. Over time, the constant friction wears down these components. This leads to the dreaded joystick drift, where your character moves on their own without any input. It's annoying, it's frustrating, and it's just way too common. Now, my own Switch did start acting up with joystick drift, but blasting it with air did seem to help temporarily, but why settle for a band-aid fix when there's a permanent solution? So what's the alternative? Enter Hall Effect Joysticks. Instead of making physical contact, they use magnetic fields to detect movement. And when you move a joystick, the magnet alters the magnetic field sensed by the Hall Effect sensor, translating that into in-game actions. Now here's why Hall Effect Joysticks are just simply better. There's no physical contact, which means there's less wear and tear, and that means a longer lifespan. Now, there's improved precision, the magnetic sensing offers smoother, more accurate input with near zero dead zones allowing for greater range of motion. Now they also reduce drift with minimal physical degradation, joystick drift becomes a thing of the past. It's like upgrading from an Oldsmobile to a Porsche, you won't want to go back. Now, here's a quick fun fact. The Hall and Hall effect comes from Edwin Hall, who discovered the phenomenon in 1879 while working on his doctoral thesis. It's fascinating to think that his work over a century ago is helping us solve modern gaming issues. Although by his uh, headshot there, it doesn't seem like he would be pleased by such childish things. While you might think this is relatively new technology, Hall Effect joysticks aren't new to the gaming industry. Back in 1983, Atari's Star Wars arcade game utilized this technology to deliver a more precise and reliable gaming experience. Sega also experimented with Hall Effect sensors in their arcade systems, and that gave us an early glimpse of to the future we're embracing today. Sega's Dreamcast controller also utilized the technology in their sticks and trigger modules. Fast forward to now and we're seeing a resurgence. Devices like the Lenovo Legion Go are incorporating Hall Effect joysticks, giving gamers a more reliable and responsive experience. But it's puzzling why companies like ASUS still refuse to incorporate these sticks into their handhelds, even on their most premium models. Now, thankfully, we don't have to wait for them to catch up. Huge shout out to today's sponsor, Handheld DIY. They did supply these sticks and they've recognized the gap and are helping gamers upgrade their devices. I upgraded my Steam Deck OLED and the difference is night and day as well they are tighter sticks. No more drift, just smooth, precise control. If you're hesitant about modding, don't worry. Check out CPPC Tech's guide. It is straightforward and makes the process a breeze. Links are in the description. Additionally, because I don't have an Ally X anymore, I will be giving these sticks away in the Handheld United Discord. Now, they might be slightly more expensive up front due to the advanced technology, but considering they outlast traditional joysticks, they'll save you money and spare you the frustration in the long run. Now, in this comparison footage, just watch how responsive the Hall Effect joysticks are compared to the traditional potentiometer-based ones. Notice the near zero dead zones on the Steam Deck here. Now, in fast-paced games, the precision and smoothness instantly are noticeable. So there you have it, a deep dive into why Hall Effect joysticks are a big deal for handheld gaming. Now you definitely should be paying attention to what type are in your next handheld or controller. Now thinking about upgrading, or maybe you've already experienced the difference, drop a comment below. I'd really love to hear your stories and I'm sure other people would love to hear your success story to let everyone know how easy it is. If you're interested in more handheld benchmarking content, do get subscribed as I've got some coming up. And as always, I hope you all have a great day.